Hi everyone, this is a reading with me for you. Um, so let's have a look and see what we have for you. Um, this reading is for all star signs. So if you are here, hello and welcome. I feel like it is a sign that there are messages for you. If you wanted to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do giveaways every single month. Um, if you wanted to purchase any personal services with me, they are on my website, shopmoonlightguidance.com. There's personal tarot readings, rituals to manifest different areas of your life. Um, there's also the intention items as well, but there's, you know, rituals for like money, love, success, happiness, um, healing, marriage, love, like I probably mentioned a hundred times, but there's also the, um, black magic removal protection ritual and intention items, which thousands of people have seen results with, um, for various different items, which are meditated with and saged and people have seen results with those. Um, so those are intention items and they're on my website, shopmoonlightguidance.com. Review section is at the bottom of my website. Okay. So let's start with your reading and see what's coming through hope you're doing well if not i really hope i can help you in some way whoa This person has created, when I say, oh, I mean like, I, I know you feel like this, okay? Because it's not really that exciting to look at these cards, but I'm gonna show you anyways, because it's a very important reading. You have been very hurt by somebody. You've been rejected by somebody. It's caused in you a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety. Some of you just can't sleep at night. You find it very, very hard to switch off your mind. You find it very hard to focus on other things in your life. You just find it hard, full stop. The Eight of Cups also shows a very, very strong energy of just feeling so demotivated. Um, you just feel like, how could they come in and do this? Like, what on earth, you know? But at the same time, like, they've just, they've just, yeah, they've just hurt you a lot, basically. What more can I really say? They've just hurt you a lot. Um, the most significant thing that I can tell you in regards to this is the fact that we have they've done this, okay, they've done this, they've literally done this, but their own personal life is not going so well, okay, um, oh, we're really getting some truth out here, okay, and what's happening here is that they've clearly hurt you, but things have shifted, I think that you've become stronger, you've started to feel like, you know what, the way that they did things onto me is only a reflection of themselves, it's not a reflection of me, so you've become stronger, okay, it's true though, they've actually projected onto you their own personal issues rather than actually, you know, feeling like you're the terrible person. They are actually starting to become obsessed with you. I know this sounds really strange, but they hurt you. Now they're obsessed with you. How is that possible, Moonlight? I don't understand. Are you okay, Moonlight? Are you actually okay? And the answer to that is, well, I'm very cold right now in the, in the room because it's very cold here, but yes, I'd still very much so believe what I just said to you. And that is really obvious here with the devil, okay? The devil is obsession, it is control, it is this sense here of them starting to realize, oh my gosh, I hurt you, thinking that you're the problem, and actually, you're not the problem, I'm the problem. That's what they've started to realize because people in their life are calling them out on things. They, they recently, okay, have realized this because someone in their family has called them out on something and no, you know, this person in their family usually doesn't really say so much to them. And that has made them think like, whoa, I've just been called out on something and I never get called out on something. This means that there must be something fundamentally in me that is going wrong. And not only that, okay, also in regards to their work area as well, somebody has called them out on something and it is messing with them because suddenly all of these people that they thought they could trust are starting to pick things out in them and it's making them very self-conscious. It is making them feel like, what am I doing wrong? And now they are starting to also see that the situation with you was not great because they treated you really, really badly and they hurt you. And they're starting to feel hurt by some of the closest people in their life right now who are treating them this way 
and they are feeling so so hurt with these people because these are the people that they trusted immensely right they trusted immensely 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 and they are doing this to your person and it's just not sitting right with them at all and now they are starting to see you as the brighter shining light because they hurt you right you didn't deliberately hurt them that's the difference whereas in this situation with like the um person in their career and also a person in their family member they hurt your person whereas your person hurt you so now they're starting to see you as the bright and shining star who's like never really done anything wrong and they're feeling like how did i let go of somebody like you in my life who's never done anything wrong and i treated you badly you know because they feel really annoyed by the fact that they treated you know they got treated like this by people so close to them um so you know there is that whole aspect of things as well and the truth is coming out they're basically being mistreated by people that they thought they could trust the most i also see friends here as well okay in all areas of their life right now people are treating them so so badly and now they're starting to feel like wait a second but i treated you really badly but you never did anything wrong to me and that bothers them it really bothers them They're starting to develop an obsession towards you and that's sort of that devil energy, right? Three of Wands, they think about you more and more each day. They think about the fact that they treated you really badly each day because other people are finding faults in them, right? But you didn't really find like serious, serious faults in this person to such a degree and tell them and make them really mad. You know, whatever you may have said to them was to a degree not as bad as what these people are telling your person. So there's that. One of those things. A wands card. Oh no. Can't lift it. Okay. Nope. There we go. <laughs> I tried twice and it just kept falling back down again on the floor. You got the king of wands. Stubborn king of wands. Let's, let's just put it that way. Okay. Stubborn. Um, the king of wands energy here is them genuinely, you know, wanting to come forward in some way, shape or form. Um, they are obsessed with you in their mind. They feel like they see you as this bright and shining star now that other people in their life like have dulled down basically in their mind um, because of things that they have said. Um, I feel like those people actually help your case. <laughs> Does that make sense? Um, but clearly, you know, especially with the lovers, we see here that their feelings towards you just keep getting stronger and stronger each day because of how other people in their life are treating them, which they did not expect at all. And it's come as an even bigger shock. And so now they're thinking of like, well, who's good for me? Like who is, who is kind to me? Who is caring towards me? Who has always been so empathic and understanding and genuine towards me? And then they think of you, right? Because they don't want to be around people that like find faults in them, even though those people were being quite like truthful, right? It does in many ways make them realize like, oh, I do need to do some work on myself, but also who has always supported me in the things that I need to do. And that person is you. Um, so, you know, they do see you as this bright and shining star. Obviously they've got to do their own inner work and um, people in their life do point out certain things in them. And as time goes by, I do feel like they will do a little bit more kind of inner searching but the fact that other people treat them really badly has made them see you as that bright and shining star that they feel that they can't have right now right but they are obsessed with you and i i really feel here that they think about you a lot and when i say a lot i mean like oh my goodness a lot um yeah that's what we have the devil's just looking right at me <laughs> anyways yeah it's, look look this is how <laughs> it was on my table like you could just see those two eyes mm, yep all right so the affirmation for this reading is they are obsessed with me comment it down below if this resonates or if you you know find that it makes sense to your situation don't forget to like share subscribe comment down below check out the description box below for information on personal services free reading giveaway intention items all that good stuff and i will see you all very very soon and definitely do take care and yeah, that is what we have. Intention items, free reading giveaway, the personal page readings, intention items, everything is listed down below. And I will see you all very soon. There's also TikTok and Instagram. I post short readings on there every single day. So feel free to check that out if you are interested. And I will see you all very soon. Gosh, I just said the same thing like a hundred times, right? But 
and that's what we have and um yeah i really hope that you all take care and i'll see you all very soon oh my gosh yeah you know what i mean i really hope that you do take care bye everyone